Some siblings are more than just siblings. They are best of friends. Some just cannot get along, and then there are those who are somewhere in the middle. But would you for a moment think that one with whom you share blood ties, one whom you call sister or brother, could be plotting your murder? Could it really get to that point? No, we didn't hear anything down here. Her girl, after what happened, she went in my grandma's mother's room and made phone call to my cousin. That's all. I heard about it. They say blood is thicker than water, but this story proves that sometimes blood can be your worst enemy. But the mind-boggling question is, how does a sister go from being her sister's keeper to her sister's killer? The sound of police responding to a 119 call on the night of June 19, 2020. The cops were called to a crime scene in the quiet community of reserve in Falmouth, Trelawney. When they arrived, they were met by a crowd that had gathered. A scared 10-year-old girl who was the only witness to the brutal slaying of her mother and a bloody crime scene. The victim, 36-year-old Tamara Geddes. A quiet night it was in the cool community of reserve. On this Friday evening, apart from a bar and a couple of corner shops being open, most people had settled in for the evening, including those living in the Geddes family household. On the ground floor, Nadine Geddes lived with her two daughters and her sister Tamara and her daughter occupied the top floor of the two-story building given to them by their late father. But the silence of the night would soon be interrupted by the sounds of gunshots, screams and sirens. At about 8.30 p.m., a lone gunman walked into the room where Tamara and her daughter were watching TV and demanded money. After robbing Tamara of $16,000 and two cellular phones, he demanded sex, a request she refused. In the end, he opened fire, hitting her multiple times to her upper body in plain view of her 10-year-old daughter. The question that baffled everyone at the time was, who would want the mother of one dead, and why?
the morning after, TV reporters and camera crews were quick on the scene, interviewing relatives and talking to community members. One of the relatives they spoke to was Nadine Geddes, the murdered woman's sister. Nadine, who lived on the ground floor, was a picture of grief when she appeared on television news. When asked if she had heard anything, she said, no, we didn't hear anything down here. Her girl, after what happened, she went in my, grand, my, my mother's room and make phone call to my cousin. That's all I heard about it. No one downstairs hear anything. No one downstairs hear anything. No one downstairs hear anything. Stories flooded the news and social media about the woman who was killed because she refused to have sex with an intruder. But could that have been the real reason for her demise? Things are not always as they seem. The first appearance tricks many. The intelligence of a few perceives what has been carefully concealed. On Tuesday, December 17, 2019, a raft captain was at a popular bar in Martha Bray in Trelawney with a few of his rafting buddies when he got into a heated argument with the bartender. The female bartender, in a fit of rage, used a knife to stab the raft captain to death. Just days after, the bartender, Tanisha Miller, was taken into custody for the murder. The raft captain was also from the community of reserve. Therefore, the killing of Tamara Geddes was the second violent death to shake the community within a six-month period. Investigators were intent on solving the murder of Tamara Geddes and worked tirelessly on the case. Initially, the police explored the original story and brought in two suspects for questioning. However, those two men were soon released as there was no evidence linking them to the murder. Luckily, most things are not secret in a community like Reserve. In a small town, everyone knows everyone. But more importantly, everybody knows a little about everybody's business. And one thing everybody knew was that there was bad blood between the two sisters. In fact, they were opposites. Tamara was jovial, loved to go to parties, loved to dress up, and she was well known, and people were drawn to her and thought she was beautiful. Her sister, a farmer, was more reserved. She wasn't as fashion forward and certainly not a social butterfly like Tamara. Some who knew the sisters well say that Tamara was the envy of her older sister, which fueled a hate hotter than lava. In some of the most gruesome murders, you don't have to look very far to find the mastermind of the deadly plot. And in this case, the perpetrator was right under the noses of the police all along. What does one do the morning after a sister has been killed brutally in the same house that you live? The answer? You clean. That's what Nadine did.
A family member told the Jamaica Observer that when they called her at 6 a.m. the morning after the murder, Nadine said she was busy cleaning up. The relative expressed concern and asked her how she could be cleaning up, and the investigators had not yet completely processed the crime scene, but that didn't stop her. The television cameras captured the grieving sister wearing black gloves as she was in the process of cleaning as she mourned. Or was she mourning? Take a closer look at Nadine Geddes in this video. A smile of a grieving sister caught on camera? What she was thinking here, the answer is, we will never know. In looking at the case from different angles, the police decided to take a closer look at the ones who lived closest to Tamara. The cops brought in Nadine and her daughters on July 14, 2020 for questioning in connection with the gruesome killing. This was the beginning of the unraveling of a twisted plot of murder. And within 48 hours, Nadine confessed to murdering her sister by a hitman. And her two daughters, 21-year-old Shanice Rudock and a 15-year-old, it turned out that they both knew about the evil plot against their aunt. We worked right around the clock to get to the bottom of what could have caused something like this. Um, the, we were able to piece the various evidence that, that, that was available together to, 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 to come up with a number of uh, conclusions. And that led us to, as I indicated before, very close family members. development once again sending shockwaves through the community of Reserve and Jamaica at large. The police were quick to crack the case and a total of seven people were arrested and slapped with charges. And this is where the plot thickens. Nadine paid Jamaican $150,000, the equivalent of just a little over US $1,000 to a friend from St. James. That friend was Tashana Young. 33-year-old Tashana was unemployed and lived with her common-law husband, 55-year-old Owen Irving, in Salt Spring, St. James. It was Owen who then hired the hitman who eventually pulled the trigger on the night of June 19. The man alleged to be the trigger man, Brian Shelley, and it was also alleged that a man named Rex Knott accompanied the shooter. On February 8, 2021, Nadine and her two daughters pleaded guilty. And the story gets even more interesting. The raft captain who was killed at the popular spot in Martha Bray in December of 2019 was none other than Gregory Geddes, the beloved brother of Nadine and Tamara Geddes. No doubt, this was devastating for the two sisters, and in Nadine's case, Revenge is a dish always best served cold. It was uncovered that at that time, Nadine had also paid Tashana Young and Owen Irving Jamaican $100,000 to hire a hit man to kill Tanisha Miller. That's the bartender who killed Gregory, her brother. Tanisha was not killed, however, as not long after the incident at the bar, she was taken into custody and charged with the murder of Gregory Geddes.
Five of the seven have been sentenced thus far and one acquitted. The reason Nadine Geddes gave for having her sister killed? Tamara had damaged her 200-gallon water tank. On May 10, 2020, Nadine was said to have reported to the police that her sister had damaged her water tank. Consequently, Tamara promised the police that she would compensate her sister for the tank. That, according to Nadine, was the straw that broke the camel's back. On March 2, 2021, Nadine Geddes was sentenced to 20 years in prison at hard labor for the murder of her sister and five years for conspiracy to commit murder. Both sentences will run concurrently, which means that by the age of 60, she will be a free woman. Owen Irving, on conspiracy charge, was sentenced to five years and for the murder charge for which he pleaded guilty, he was sentenced to 20 years with no possibility of parole before serving 15 years. Rex Sinott pleaded not guilty and was acquitted when the court ruled that there was insufficient evidence to pursue a case against him. As for Tashana Young, the judge cited greed as the reason for her involvement. She bought using the monies collected from Nadine, a bed, a television, a chest of drawers, a headboard, a refrigerator and a six burner stove. And in the end, she pleaded guilty to two counts of conspiracy to murder and was sentenced to four years behind bars. Nadine's daughters both got slaps on their wrists, each receiving three years of probation. Finally, the case against Brian Shelley, the man believed to have pulled the trigger on June 19, 2020, is still before the courts. Ha <laughs> <laughs>